The use of uh, free rapid antigen tests in schools have been expanded into uh, kindergartens and childcare. And children over the age of 12 are encouraged to conduct their own tests while parents uh, will have to test younger children. Now, a number of the rat tests contain a chemical called sodium aside, which may be toxic to animals if ingested. Now, the safety data on this chemical recommends wearing of gloves and avoiding any contact with your skin. Now, the coronavirus website includes an instruction sheet and a video, and there's no gloves that are worn. Minister, why has there no warning to be provided to parents in the video and the instruction sheet regarding the safe storage, handling and disposal of the rapid testing kits? Minister Thierney. Well, firstly, President, I seek your guidance as to whether it is the Minister for Education or it is another minister. Well, we still, I uh, think it's, it's a question because it's in a school and we're talking about rabbit tests and education. Uh, unless you take it on notice or... I would have thought that it would be the Minister for Health, but leaving that to one side, I'm prepared to um, refer it to the Minister for Education for his consideration and for him to get back to you, Dr Cumming. Thank you for that, Mrs. Athenium. Supplementary. I look forward to a minister responding to my question, and I do hope that the Minister for Education doesn't say it's the Minister for Health. I'd love a fulsome response on behalf of our children and animals. So I, I should also mention that the RSPCA has warned about the possible harm to animals, and this could cause by these tests. Now, the government video has been provided to no assist parents saying nothing about the safety disposal or the test um, or the storage. Now, the fact sheet provides, says to dispose of the kit into household garbage, but the recycling bin or not the recycling bin or into the drainage system. Now, surely used kits should be safely disposed in hazmat bins. Maybe members of parliament should have these bins actually in their electoral offices and allow the public to actually dispose of them appropriately. Now, Minister, are schools provided with these hazmat bins to provide the safe disposal of the rat rapid antigen test? Now, I'm really having a problem with that uh, supplementary. I don't think it's related to Minister of Education at all. Uh, Uh, oh, that, Ms. Dr. Cumming, look, I, I told you I'm struggling with the supplementary and I'm trying to work out to give you another chance so you can preamble your question to the minister. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Order, order, order. Uh, Dr. Cumming, as I said to you, of the first question I've allowed to the Minister of Education, and the Minister would took that on board to come back to an answer. The supplementary, I'm struggling with it, unless you want to preamble it to the Minister for Education, because you cannot have two ministers on the same issue. So it's your choice, or I'll rule it out. Uh, President, I will take your advice around the ruling to make sure it goes to the appropriate minister. Um, I would believe that it is, would be the Minister for Education, seeing that the rapid antigen test for children, because this is what we're talking about, the safety of small children and animals at home, that the government's handing out these kits to, that we're making sure that they are provided with appropriate information.